Uh, g'day guys, my name's Harley. I'm a 41 year old virgin and just want to make this video out there. Uh, just letting you guys know that it's okay. It's okay if you are a virgin. There's no pressure. I just want to share about, about my story. Um, I, uh, I'm a, I'm a, just started doing YouTube and I'm a big vegan game supporter. Uh, vegan Gaines, he's, he's a legend. He definitely gives me inspiration and motivation in my life. So big, big shout out to my, my, my man, Vegan Gaines. Uh, so a bit about me and my virginity. Um, I still live at home here and uh, one day I'm going to move out but I definitely found that um, there's nothing wrong if you're a virgin I'm 41 you know and I, I kissed a girl at a party once when I was 15 um, so I, ever since then I've just been pretty socially awkward I find it really hard to talk to people in public I find it hard to go out in public and I find it hard to uh, just be around women in general I've never had a girlfriend uh, I have no social status at all. I don't really have any real fitness. I'm not really good at anything. I pretty much have zero confidence. Uh, I have very poor health. And uh, well, women generally despise me. I find that. And uh, you have seen, I did a video once on Facebook. but And some people say, oh, I've seen that video. you got some attractive women around you. I said that, but they were just actresses a friend of mine paid for uh, to be in the video. So no woman... Uh, in her right mind, unless she's being paid, would want to be in my presence. So I guess that's part of my 41-year-old virginity. Um, I, I would say that, yeah, being socially awkward, having no social status, and also I don't have any money. Uh, I know women like that feeling of financial security and, and money is, is an attractive element. Not, we're not talking gold diggers or prostitutes or stuff like that. We're talking, not that there's wrong with that, but I'm just saying that, you know, it's... It's attractive. It shows you have, especially got if you've got self-made money, you know, actually went out there and carved a career or a niche for yourself and, and made an affluent living out of that. And that's quite attractive. I can understand why it's attractive for women because it shows you're not a a beta, you know, loser who's sort of you know living at home with mum still or who's funded by mummy and daddy, which again nothing wrong with that. So I just wanted to say that I definitely have a, a struggle with women especially attractive women talking to them. It's just like I sort of freeze up a bit, you know, and I have zero experience there. Never had a girlfriend. And even on social media, um, you know, never had any women hit me up or sending me selfies or sexy stuff or, you know, liking my posts or anything like that. It's very, uh, it's very hard for me to make any sort of female contact, sort of female friends. When we're getting at this video, um, just want to let you know that there's, there's things you can do if you want to lose your virginity, if you want to have a good girlfriend. Uh, or, or find women. This, I guess this goes for women as well who are looking for a boyfriend, this sort of video. A little bit of satire here as well, uh, potentially a bit of satire. But I would say that, you know, as someone like myself who has no experience with women out there, um, you've seen that I just, I've never had a girlfriend. I never have any, there's no women, you know, making any allegations about me trying to get out, get in on the money or there's nothing like that at all. You know, there's no one. No one out there feeling uh, rejected by me and making up stories and telling their husband what happened or lying to their husband about what happened. There's none of that ever because I just I just don't have any women chasing me. You know, I am this socially awkward guy if I could repeat myself over and over. Second part of the video is I encourage guys is, is, uh, is to wait. This is for women as well, is to wait. There's no rush. There's no rush in losing your virginity, you know. There is definitely a, a serious side of this video, so let's get into that one. A lot of people feel pressured in society today to, to you know, to be a player or a gamer or to appease men and women's desires or whatever. And whilst there's a fun element to that as well, it can also be a bit risky. You know, you can get yourself you get pregnant, you can get yourself in some real issues there. You know, get some, some get some, some, some real issues. But what I would say, I'd ask people out there, um, what is your reason? of avoiding people, you know, good people. There's a lot of fucked up people in the world out there today. There's a lot, of, just go to internet, go to YouTube, look at some of the people who make videos about me. There's a lot of fucked up people in society, a lot of damaged, hurt, bitter, twisted people who are really just, they're just, yeah, some, I've met some fucking total fruitcakes out there. Hurt people hurt people. So we have to, how do you steer clear from these people? Well, there's a list of people you can find out on the internet if you just watch enough of my videos, people you want to probably stay clear from. But all, they display certain characteristic traits that you could see and go, wow, I really want to stay clear of people like that. Narcissistic, 
sociopathic, psychopathic, compulsive liar sort of disorder stuff where you just be like, okay, I'll fucking pick that now. If people are watching, making videos with backdrops like this or whatever, then maybe they're crazy, maybe they're not. But yeah, a lot of people put on a good mask and it's hard to see what they really like, you know, until, you know, you spend enough time with them behind the scenes or until they realize they can't get nothing from you, they can't get any sex from you, they can't get any money or fame from you, and then you'll see what they're all about all along. Once once you pull those things away, then you will be like, oh, wow, you know, that's what they're about all along, which can be hurtful. That's why a lot of people don't get into relationships. You know, someone may have been, um, I'm talking to David Natasha, someone may have been in a relationship with, with someone, you know, maybe when they've a teenager and they had a, a banned sexual experience or they got put down or shut down or rejected by someone and they're like I'm never that really and it really hurt them they felt really hurt by that so they never went there ever again and they stayed virgin to a 20, 30, 40, 50 whatever. and it's just that's fine but what's not fine is if you're living with hurt your whole life you'll miss out on the chance of meeting some really nice people out there not everyone's fucked up you know there's a lot of fucked up people out there and they can they just cause damage and recklessness you know, in whoever, whoever they come across, eventually, if not sooner, they will do it later. But if you, you know, if you miss out on the good joys of life because you're scared of being burned, scared of being rejected, then you know, there's no way to live. There's no way to live. I mean, look at me. My lifestyle has been a reflection on YouTube. I put it all out there, all out there. You know, <laughs> all out there. I'm not sure if you've been on Instagram lately. You know, go see the stuff I've been posting on my new account. It goes to some of the comments that we leave on certain people's chat. Like, just go there and have a sniff around. Like, you know, the internet is an incredible resource for people who want to connect with like-minded people or to just to learn. I mean, you can learn so much about psychology and stuff all for free. Just from reading people's articles or blogs or books or whatever, you know, or for very, very cheap and affordable. So it's never been time in history to actually learn more about psychology, how people work how narcissists work, how psychopaths work, you know, all this stuff, and understand how to identify certain people and how to avoid them or how to treat them or how to recover from them. Even. All right, so at the end of the day, if you are a virgin watching this, there is no pressure, but if you're avoiding an intimate relationship with someone who actually genuinely does care about you, you know, and you're avoiding that, then you're punishing them a little bit by living in the past because you got hurt and then you get a good person in your life, but you still get reserved, which is totally fine. It's understandable. And a good person will have patience. And a, a person of experience will be able to extract that goodness out of you and, and build that trust and comfort. You know, from trust, comfort, rapport, stems intimacy. Right? So there's no rush, but you've got to love yourself before anyone else can really love you. And that can be hard for people out there in today's society where it's all about your looks, your social status, how many followers you've got on YouTube, how many total views you've got on YouTube, or likes, or whatever. You know, people just buy in status, you know. So it's, and I've done that myself. It's been very, very interesting experiments. Like, get a post on Instagram, bump it up a few thousand K, and all of a sudden, he's more people like it, he's more people comment. And they just don't put anything on the on the uh, thing. And it's people are like, oh, yeah. So people are buying this false sense of status. It's it's incredible. And social media is just like driving up this, uh, everyone's comparing each other with everyone else, you know. So it's like really... Uh, creating a lot of issues, creating a lot of issues, which we can talk about for anyway, for, for hours and hours and hours on that one. Anyway, if you do have some questions, maybe join my favorite, uh, my favorite, my private Facebook group, go to doonod.com. If you have genuine, genuine relationship questions, we can answer it there. You can set up a fake account if, you, if you're not worried, uh, if you're a bit cautious about posting something public, set up a fake account, join that, it's 50 bucks, unlimited support. So if you actually, if you are a 41 year old virgin like me, or if you're looking for some dating advice or whatever, then I can give you serious, no, no sarcastic advice, some legit content there. So if, you, if you're really are looking for that resource, then it's there. It's a great resource, great support group. Um, what else can we say that is, you know, understand why you do certain things and just, you know, internalize them. Just stop and reflect and just think, why do I do this? Whose rule is this? Is this the rule my first girlfriend or first boyfriend taught me? Is this the rule my mum taught me or my grandpa or my first employer taught me is this really my deal what is it you know am i vegan because during right i said vegan's good that's great but be vegan because you know it in your heart it makes sense when you connect your heart and your mind that's when you have that confidence and that confidence attracts really good shit in your life okay so it's great you listen to me or other people out there who find inspiring that's awesome but really listen to your heart and listen to your head and join those two up and make sure your heart always dominates 
you know. Make sure your heart leads your mind and you'll have a, a life of just unbeatable joy, adventure, contribution, you know, and you just attract incredible people in your life. You also attract incredibly challenging people in your life as well. People who don't want to see you succeed, they don't want to have to see you happy, they get incredibly jealous or possessive or whatever. And hey, that's fine, that's understandable. Some of the stuff they do is totally not cool, but it's part of the parcel. You're not going to have an organic, awesome mango farm, fruit farm, without a heaps of annoying fruit bats eating all the fruit and heaps of weeds and mosquitoes. That's just it's not, not going to happen. You're not going to have incredible success, life, happy life, happy relationship or whatever without massive level of drama to challenge you and say, are you really serious in this path? So when the, chat, when the drama comes, embrace it, hold on tight. It's just like a weather storm, it'll pass, but it also tests you and tests the people around you. Who's your supporter and who was just a hater all along? Bottom line, it's just a fails from the middle of the day. Virginity doesn't mean that much. If you still are a virgin, relax about it. But ask yourself, why am I resistant to getting into some intimate relationships with people? Why is that? And remember, not everyone out there is fucked. Some good people out there. So give yourself that self-love and you'll find that your confidence will go up and then you're attracting better quality people in your life. And don't accept shit. Don't accept poor standards from people. When we only accept the best, that's very often what we'll get. Thanks for watching.